going to make a short quick video on an LG G-Pad 7.0 model V410 uh, screen replacement. I wasn't able to find anything on the internet for this so I've kind of created one after the fact here. The first thing you do is remove your SIM card located at the top. From there you're able to take and uh, use the heat gun heat it across the top and down the sides and then slip the flat bladed uh, pry tool underneath the glass and just loosened it all the way uh, across the top and down the sides. There is some adhesive on the back of the motherboard in this location here where you also have to loosen it. Um, once I was able to get the top and sides loose, I pivoted it on the bottom and there's a connection down at the bottom here that you can reach in with your pry tool if needed and disconnect. You just don't want to make, you want to make sure you don't damage your uh, ribbon cable located here on the motherboard. Once you get that disconnected, you can remove the whole assembly clean up your glass fragments on the adhesive. I like to reuse the old adhesive uh, just because it seems to stick better than the newer stuff. So I clean that up and reuse that. From there, um, you aren't able to, to put the new uh, screen assembly on because this connector you can't make uh, without removing the motherboard assembly. So I use the same flat bladed pry tool got between the edge of the frame and the motherboard frame uh, pried it out just slightly as I went along across the top and sides and then you're able to take that whole uh, lift that whole uh, motherboard frame assembly out of the, the main uh, frame. From there I took my new screen carefully aligned it with the edges of the motherboard frame assembly and I secured that down with the, uh, the old adhesive. At that point you can flip it over uh, make, make your connection between the new frame or a new screen connector and your motherboard connector, you can make that connection, and then there's a piece of tape used that you can use to secure it. Once you're to that point, the only thing left is to uh, flip that new assembly back over and place it back into the housing. It snaps into the housing fairly easily. If you've done it right, your uh, new glass will line up perfectly inside your uh, your housing uh, frame. Uh, the only thing left from there is to put your SIM card back in, power it up, test it, and uh, you should be good. Uh, good luck with your repair.